We don't have to just stick with carbon. We can think about describing other types of atoms as well using this hybridization. For example, we can talk about nitrogen. And nitrogen has five valence electrons shown here. Would you expect to see electron promotion in nitrogen, where we pull one of these 2s electrons into one of the 2p orbitals? No, good. So electron promotion does not happen uh, in terms of nitrogen, because it would not increase our number of unpaired electrons. No matter what we do in terms of promotion, we're always going to have three unpaired electrons. We can still hybridize all these orbitals, however, so we can still form uh, four hybrid orbitals, which are, again, two sp3 hybrid orbitals. So if we take a look at nitrogen here, what you'll notice is we have three available for bonding, and we already have our lone pair. One of our orbitals is already filled up. So we can add three hydrogen atoms here and fill in our other orbitals right here. So if we do this and we form the molecule ammonia, uh, let's switch to a clicker question and have you tell me what the bond angle is going to be in, in ammonia, the uh, HNH bond angle. Actually, let me draw it on the board as you look. Uh, so actually, can you put the class notes on, since you don't actually have your notes to refer to? So there's the class notes there. All right, this should be a pretty uh, quick thing for you to figure out, so let's just take 10 seconds on this. OK, great. Even thinking quickly, most of you got it correct. So uh, what we see is on ammonia here, we know that it's less than 109.5. It's actually um, 107, so it's less than 109.5 because of that lone pair pushing down in the bonding electrons. Uh, and what is the shape for one more clicker question on ammonia? Let's take 10 seconds again. This should be pretty quick. All right, pretty good. So 70% of you, we'd like to get this up higher. Um, the shape is actually trigonal pyramidal. And you need to just remember your shapes. If, if they're not obvious to you what they're called, you need to just study them and learn them. So it's trigonal because we have these three uh, atoms that are bound to the central atom here. And if you, if you picture it, it's actually shaped like a pyramid. So it's trigonal pyramidal. That's what we call when we have uh, three bonding electrons and one, or we have three bonding atoms and one lone pair. All right, so uh, we can switch all the way back to our notes here. And the last thing we can think about is how do we name this NH bond? And again, we just name it based on its symmetry. It's a sigma bond, and it's going to be, uh, no. <laughs> OK, it's going to be nitrogen 2sp3, because it's a nitrogen atom, uh, and then hydrogen 1s. 